The Scorecard Builder interface comprises elements of Angos products with additional enhancements. Creating a new project automatically opens the workflow area. The project pane is visible and also a canvas area with sizable side panels. The left-hand side panel contains color-coded processing nodes. The color denotes the processing group the node belongs to. For example, data imports are green, transformation nodes gold, modeling blue. There are also nodes for model evaluation, deployment and data export. These are options previously found in menus. Nodes are moved from the panels onto the canvas and connected together to form a process flow. Double clicking on any node opens its options dialog. The left hand pane generates SAS code for selected nodes, in this case a PROC import. This is a very useful feature for generating SAS code for an entire workflow or selected parts. Workflows can be complex, containing comments, imports, exploration, modeling and evaluation nodes, but as multiple workflows can exist in the same project, exploration can be split from modeling and evaluation. To fully appreciate the scorecard builder functionality, we will speak about the steps involved in the scorecard building process and the tools provided. Note that reject inference is only used when building application scorecards. Angus includes this functionality in the process for both behavioral and application scorecards will be spoken of. Data exploration is the first step of any analysis. The scorecard builder provides easy to use data exploration capabilities. Results are spread across a number of tabs, including a data view, a host of univariate statistics and selectable graphs. The segment viewer provides visual profiling capabilities and now includes additional predictive power measures accompanying the graphic representations of variables. Sorting on this column makes it easy to identify potentially good predictors and saves valuable time in the process overall. The new characteristic analysis feature provides further visual capabilities to assess relationships between variables, with an easy export to Excel feature for seamless export. The correlations tab now contains four measures of association to choose from when assessing variable relationships. The view can be filtered on any of the measures to provide a desired table, reducing the need to restructure externally. These are some of the features available for initial data exploration. The next step in the process is candidate variable selection for inclusion in a model. Candidate variable selection is made more efficient and robust with the inclusion of our patented decision trees and the new measures of predictive power facility. Decision trees can be used for exploration and also as a means to identify good predictors and store them in a list. The decision tree is limited in that it uses one algorithm to assess variables. The new measures of predictive power facility provide six statistics to assess variables. Variables can be sorted in ascending or descending order of any statistic and the top predictors can then be stored in a list for later recall. Once candidate variables have been identified, the process of weight of evidence transformations can proceed. Generally, the process of weight of evidence transformations is time consuming and laborious. Angos Scorecard Builder Weight of Evidence Optimizer Facility provides visual tools to easily address weight of evidence transformations. The workflow is extended to include a transformation node and bins and weight of evidence values are shown in tree form with the ability to modify bins and specify cut points. Angos Weight of Evidence Optimizer makes it easy to assess variables and ensure the two assumptions of weight of evidence variables for use in a logistic regression are met. These assumptions are that all continuous variables have a monotonic relationship with the dependent variable and that there are no null weight of evidence values. In this example, the variable age is continuous, but the relationship is not monotonic. And for the variable capital gain, there is a null weight of evidence value. Rather than manually modifying cut points, Angos Scorecard Builder provides an Optimize All button which performs the transformations automatically and ensures all assumptions are met. Notice now for the variable age there is a monotonic relationship and for the variable capital gain there are no null weight of evidence values. Also note that SAS code can be generated for selected nodes. The next step in the process is to generate partitions and develop the logistic regression model. A partition node is connected to create the partitions and a logistic regression node is dragged from the modeling palette and connected to the development partition. The logistic regression facility contains capabilities for user-specified dummy coding, variable selection methods and forcing variables. The logistic regression results are created as output and appear on the project pane. Results include standard logistic regression output with additional measures for overall model assessment and comparison. The next step is model evaluation and validation. This can be visually designed by dragging, dropping and connecting associated nodes. The validation and model analyzer results are created as output objects and contain all statistics and graphs required to assess and validate models, including the AUC and Gini statistic. The next steps in the process depend on whether an acceptance or behavioral scorecard is being developed. For acceptance scorecards, a reject inference model is the next step. However, for a behavioral scorecard, the next step is to scale the logistic regression to a scorecard and deploy.
We will follow this thread and revisit reject inference. The logistic regression model is scaled as a scorecard by adding and connecting the scorecard node from the modeling palette. Options are available to set the base points, points to double the odds, and base odds. The scorecard is created as an output object and easily accessed and exported to PDF. The scorecard can also be deployed against an open or external data source by connecting a scoring node. Alternatively, code can be generated in SAS, SQL, XML, and PMML for use on other platforms. Again, SAS code can be created for selected nodes or for the entire workflow. So that's the process for the behavioral scorecard. And although not shown, the scorecard builder includes the ability to moderate the model with current bureau data in the form of constrained logistic regression. If an acceptance scorecard is being developed, the next steps in the process are to build and evaluate a reject inference model. This requires an additional dataset containing those rejects be added. Once included, a reject inference modeling node is added from the modeling palette. Four reject inference methods are available and the reject inference results are created as output objects. These can be examined individually, side by side, and compared and validated using the model analyzer. Scaling the logistic regression model to a scorecard and deploying follows the steps outlined previously. Again, an open or external data source can be automatically scored. Alternatively, code can be generated in SAS, SQL, XML and PMML for use on other platforms. Once a stable workflow has been arrived at, it can be retained. Updating models requires pointing the import node to the new data file and rerunning the workflow. Again, SAS code can be created for selected nodes or the entire workflow. The efficiency gains of the process workflow with the added functionality of characteristic analysis, the segment viewer, predictive power, patented decision trees, reject inference, scorecard scaling, the weight of evidence optimizer facility and code generation coupled with the ability to retain a workflow and rerun on new data make the scorecard builder an advance in the field and a product to have.